But you are. No, I dis I disagree with that. guys I just changed my sheets while taking a conference call so it was a very productive um, 30 minutes that I just had I'm just finishing off my giant cup of coffee I've been making a conscious effort to stop drinking Red Bull and stick to espresso so I just did a half cup of skin milk with two shots of Nespresso the short ones so yeah um, I thought I would catch you guys up so I thought today I would do a vlog. Um, I've had a really rough week. Actually, 2020 has been quite, a, 2020 and 2021 have been quite interesting years. They were definitely years that changed the course of my life, um, but social media and doing vlogs and stuff like that makes me happy. <sighs> so I thought I would come on here, just do a little update. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, my grandmother got sick last week on the on monday so hold on let me get the dates so on monday november 15th my grandmother was acting strange and like she's very like i saw i, I see my grandmother all the time like the way i grew up with my grandmother the way luca grew, grew up is growing up with my parents and um i see her all the time i talk to her all the time and she was we saw her a week before this started happening so on the monday my mom calls me and she's like nona is not doing well so i'm like what do you mean she's not doing well she's like i have to bring her to the hospital i'm like what the hell's going on she's like she's not talking so i'm like that's so weird like my grandmother's a chatterbox you know so she brought her into the hospital and my grandmother said if there needs to be tests and anything i don't want it i'm done i'm 93 i've lived a beautiful life i don't want to spend months in the hospital being sick so she refused care and just stayed at the hospital and by thursday morning she had passed away so if you follow me on instagram i shared it a little bit she passed away thursday the 18th and um yeah i had to keep it strong for luca i had to continue with life doing play dates doing everything and i honestly it helped me a lot we spoke to Luca about it. I spoke to her at first. We got this really great book for Luca. Actually, my sister-in-law ordered it for me. She had done some research. It's called The Invisible String, which explained, I think, a lot to Luca. So we started, hold on, let me put this down. So um, I got the book. She was already, she was on the Wednesday or Tuesday. I got the book and I started reading it. It was very clear, like we brought her into the hospital on Monday and by Tuesday she was in a coma. So the doctors had told us, like, it's time to prepare, go say your goodbyes and everything. So on Wednesday, Tuesday night or Wednesday, I read the book to Luca. I have so much anxiety. My heart actually hurts. Um, so I read the book to Luca, and the book is actually really great. Um, for anybody who has, like, who's going through something, I don't think it's necessarily a book that's just for... Um, explaining someone's passing because it's a very little mention about passing away in the book it's also about like not being able to be near your loved ones all the time I think it's a good book for even explaining divorce and like splitting households and stuff like that I think it's a good book for that as well so I explained to Luca the invisible string which is basically it's like a love string and that when you miss it when you miss a person even though they're not next to you you have this invisible string and everybody together is connected with these strings. So she went through that on Wednesday and she was like, I told her, I said, you know, Nona's tired. 
she asked God to come get her because we are Catholic. So, and Luca is very much aware of God. We pray, we do prayers at night. So she's like, when I told her, I said she asked God to come get her to, so she could go be with her parents and Pinchy. Pinchy, for those of you who are new here, is my dog who passed away in 2018. And I said, uh, she wants to go see, she asked God to come get her and Luca right away just went like this. She went, no, God, please don't take my nona asunta. And uh, told her, I said, she's tired, she needs to go, and she understood. And then the next day, we sat her down, and we were like, yeah, because it was the Thursday. We sat her down, and we were like, Luca, Nana passed away, but she's in a better place. Now we need to take care of Nana. And she's been so good. She's been such a cheery little girl. I didn't bring her to the funeral. I didn't think it was appropriate. I didn't even tell her about the funeral, because I think she would have wanted to come. So I did not do... I. I I did that with just my family. We are a very small family, but it was a really beautiful ceremony. And it was yesterday, and it was a very difficult day. Ah, but everybody showed up. You guys know I'm still very close to Mo's family. Mo showed up, his family showed up. I had friends that showed up, so it was, it was nice to see everyone be there for her, because she was such a nice lady. A lot of people. Um, we're very happy about the life she lived and they were sharing beautiful stories about her. So it was, um, yeah. Ah, so anyways, I wanted to vlog today to kind of switch it, switch up my mindset and things that are going on. I just want to, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and I was like, I feel guilty, like moving on and going to work and doing stuff. And she's like, Mel, you know, people are very complex. Um, they're able to live more than one emotion at the same time so you can be grieving on one side and still be enjoying your life and being a mom on the other side and I thought it made a lot of sense to me so yeah you know who you are thank you for telling me that it made it changed kind of changed the way I saw everything and we had decided as a family we wanted to celebrate her beautiful life and how awesome she is and yeah so I think my way of getting past this, I'm very good. I love, sh I, I, my therapy is kind of talking about stuff and I feel very comfortable sharing with you guys, like everything I was going through with Luca. Once I process something is when I share it. So I know a lot of you guys are asking me about like my divorce and all that. It's like, I'll talk about it when I'm ready to talk about it. But for now, I'm still in my processing stage. And once I process, I share with you guys and we go through everything together. And I love sharing with you guys because I, my battery on my camera just died. So we're going to do it on my phone while I go charge my battery. So yeah, um, I, I, I process things. And once I process things, that's when I like to talk about them openly with Luca. It took me four years to talk, no, three years. It took me a solid three years to talk about everything as comfortably as I was. And now I talk about it and it's like such, a, like it's, it's. I feel like I can help people. It's like a weight lifted on my shoulders to be able to share what uh, we went through to have her. But with my grandmother, I think because she had such a beautiful life, because she was so close, because she really, she really would have wanted to see us continuing and being happy especially my grandfather my grandfather is struggling and we told him yesterday we were like you got to keep going man so my parents have been going every morning every night I went to go see him yesterday and we're like you got to keep going so he's like but then you got to keep going because we were crying and we were like you got to stop crying and he's like but you got to stop crying so yeah that is what's going on back to yeah so yeah, so I'm doing this vlog as my own therapy session. And I feel like if I'm on camera, I'm gonna put more of a smile on instead of breaking down randomly while I'm driving. So I decided I would vlog today. I have a busy day because of uh, the past week, I pushed back a lot of meetings. I pushed back so many lunches, lunch meetings that I had to do. So um, I'm gonna get back to normal programming today. So let's, let's get this day started. Um, I'm also going to talk about for a second this amazing mattress. I got it from Polysleep. You guys saw me make my bed. I got it from Polysleep. They sent it to me as a, because I kept on saying I had migraines and I wasn't sleeping anymore. They said you will have the best night's sleep of your life with this mattress and they were right. So cheers Polysleep, you guys. Best mattress I've ever tried in my life. 
So I'm shooting a campaign for Rudsack today. I was booked, so we are gonna do the first look. We're doing a live. We did one in the springtime, so we're gonna do a live try-on. We're gonna do it, I believe it's December 1st, but I'm shooting the banners right now, so let's get shooting. I'm such a nerd. I love that my car has this like pink, like, hold on, is that, can you see the floor? No, you can't see it. But like all around, it's all like pink lights. <laughs> I just got to Westmount Square parking and I am going, I have a work lunch with one of my girlfriends. We all start working together and then we end up working together so long that we become girlfriends. So we're having a work slash girlfriend lunch. She is the marketing director for one of the companies that I do their digital. So we're going to go have a nice lunch. We're going to Cafe Gentile on uh, St. Catherine at the Westmount location. Let me close this. I'll show you guys my outfit as soon as I can. Actually, uh, actually, I already took an, I took pictures on Instagram, so I'll insert them here so you can see my full look. I'll also get Karim to shoot my outfit, so I'll insert that as well. Let's go to Gentile. I am craving an Italian sandwich right now. Full look. Going into West Mount Square. All right, lunch just showed up and I was about to eat. So I get, I always get the steak and cheese sandwich here with bomba, so it's a little spicy. Jackie and by the way, guys, my girl, she got the veal scalopini one, Coke Zero, water. Gentile. Anywho, what is that? Well, I'm, so, I'm doing reels. <laughs> Okay. To your nana. Aw, thanks. Okay, we're good. So I just need to get ready. Um, hold on, I need to put my mirror on so I can have some light. This my office slash closet slash everything does not have light so i use my mirror and my melissa neon as my lighting so tonight i was invited to the premiere of the gucci movie with uh, my friend jess so jess was invited also so we decided to go as each other's dates my parents took luca to go to the movies they went to go see Encante. she's very excited so i'm gonna go see the gucci movie it starts at six i think we have to be there for like pizza and drinks and then the movie at 7 30 so i'm gonna get dressed for that i just texted jess and she said she's wearing skirt and a sweater which i was wearing a skirt and a sweater earlier and i think i might actually keep the look going because it was really cute which was i'm literally not wearing the skirt anymore it's by alice and olivia and my cashmere sweater is by primary new york which is no longer which is no longer around, which makes me so sad because it was one of the first, it's my girlfriend's company, and it was one of the first uh, companies I worked with when I was on social media. I mean, worked with. And it makes me sad they're not around anymore. So, let me, yeah, this might, this is cute. We're going to keep it casual. So, cashmere sweater, black turtleneck cashmere sweater skirt alice and olivia and i'm gonna wear my gia couture um boots the ones that are pernil collab and my la marque oversized leather jacket let's go fix my makeup right now because it looks it looks like it needs it and yeah let's get going i'm gassing up i thought i would take the time to show you guys my makeup this is the touched up edition of my makeup um yeah i'm going to the movies now i changed my outfit completely i'll show you guys later i wore a Miu Miu skirt finally i thought if i could go hard it would be a gucci premiere where i could do that you know what i mean wow, my merci beaucoup monsieur bon merci beaucoup merci beaucoup ouais je sais j'en ai vraiment besoin c'est comme gênant en ce moment <laughs> Ben, c'est pour ça, je me suis dit, whatever. Next time. All right, bon bye, bonne soirée.
just ran into. We just parked side by side, so we're gonna come after the movie, which is in there. Look what she just brought me. Sweetest human in the world. My favorite girl in the world. Aww. Look at this. So we have Jess. You guys saw her already. We have Carrie. We have a fabulous meal. We're in good company. With Gucci cookies. Yeah. Oh. oh no, they're macarons. Okay. Oh, look how cute they are. So we have an apple. Here, let's. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> so we got some meatballs. I mean, we kind of destroyed the antipasti platter. Now we're going towards meatballs. We're closing off the dinner with the, the pizza. Delicious. Thank you so much. Talk about VIP. <laughs> Where are we sitting, girls? Hoping you earn enough money someday to afford the second cheapest item. Surprise? You won't. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it. I don't like, I didn't like it, I think. No, I take it back. I take it back. I didn't hate it. I just was like, I feel like it could have been shorter. Definitely could have been cut short. And as an Italian who has 50% of her family who speak with heavy Italian accents, I could not get past the accents. Nobody had a, nobody in the movie had a proper Italian accent. And as somebody who loves Jared Leto, like as much as I love Jared Leto, I thought he almost made a joke out of the character. I don't know. It could have been trimmed down like 40 minutes solid. I don't know. It was nice to see... Like, they focused on Tom Ford a little bit, how he, like, kind of revived Gucci, not kind of how he revived Gucci. It was nice to see. It was nice to see a glimpse of that. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. All right, guys, well, that is it. It is now midnight. I'm officially in my PJs. I'm going to go wash my face and go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.